Hi guys, welcome back to Thrifty and Nifty Ideas. I'm sorry I was gone for so long, but you know, life just happened and I had some things I had to take care of. Been a long time since I've done a video, so here I am now. Uh, I wanted to share with you guys, uh, you know, I'm gearing up for Halloween. So I, wanna, I went to the thrift store today to see if I could find anything I could use as Halloween props. And I got some great finds. Look at all this great stuff. I spent $14. Uh, I found this little plant stand. And it's supposed to go like that. I'm going to be flipping it over and using it to put this in. This is a great little bird feeder. And what I thought I could do with that. Let me find my prop. Because I'm going to stick this little bat that I got from the Dollar Tree last year. I'm going to stick it in there. Um, I got. Uh, this was a dollar. The bird feeder was two dollars found this I'm going to be using as a witch's broom that's going to be flying into my Halloween tree uh, that I have not set up yet but I'll be doing that this week and that was a dollar and I found this great piece of wrought iron and that was only ten dollars it was marked 15 but he gave it to me for 10 that's awesome so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this First, let me get situated here. Okay, so first thing is I'm going to be using my spray paints. I've got Rust-Oleum Black and I've got Rust-Oleum Aluminum. <clears throat> For the bird feeder, I already kind of pre-disassembled this to see if it was going to work and I took a little doing but it is going to work. So I just basically took these pieces out, take that off the base, and we're going to get rid of that. We don't need that. That's going into the trash. I cleaned up the bottom piece a little bit because it did have like old bird seeds stuck to it. It does not have to be perfect. Oh, Mom just walked out wanting to see what I got. I'll show you what I'm doing and you can see what all I got. So I'm just going to spray paint the bird cage, or I'm yeah. sorry, the bird feeder black. I'm not yeah. wearing gloves, probably should be. Are you videotaping this? I am videoing it. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, you are quite alright. Would you like to have some gloves so your hands don't get covered in stained black? I'll scrub them off later. Gonna do that piece. Gonna do this piece. I probably should have gloves. Interesting. Thanks. Appreciate it. I don't normally wear gloves. I should. And this does not have to be perfect. I'm just going to do like a light coat on it. Maybe you get a hope that stick to the paint. Huh? Maybe you get a hope that the gloves don't stick to the paint. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> uh, let me try putting on a glove. Of course, I got paint on my hands, so the gloves will probably stick to my hands. Okay. And then I'm going to paint the actual frame itself. So let me move this out of the way. All right. Like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. Because, you know, it's supposed to look a little creepy for Halloween. And I want to just do a light coat because I want this to dry fairly fast. I think down in there is going to be the hard part. No, not as hard as I thought it was going to be. You can probably see if right over there. My yard art that I did a few years ago, I'll be setting that out for Halloween here shortly. And if I have time, I'll show you that real quick. That ain't going to go out till later. Alright. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's a little bent up, 
But that's alright, just going to make it look good and creepy. Let's just kind of set that to the side a little bit. And then, I'm going to paint the plant stand, the aluminum, because I want a little bit of a contrast. I'm try not to get my aluminum onto the black. I'm going to probably set that somewhere else. Let's see. Get all my black stuff. This rustoleum dries pretty fast, but it is getting towards evening time, so it may not dry as fast as what I'd like it to. Hope that's in the thought because I can't tell. on the black. It'll be all right. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. Okay, let's go over that again. I don't know if this is in the shot. Because I can't really go back and redo it, can I? And after this, i got to go feed the dogs. They're getting hungry. And the foxes. The foxes be coming out about seven. All right. Pretty good on that. All right. I'll set that out of the way. I'm gonna go back, top this off with some more black because I kind of screwed that up a little bit. Good. All right. I do need a minute or two. For this to dry because like i said i'm not out in the full summer it would dry like super super fast so what i do want to show you what else i worked on today was i'll walk you across the yard here for a minute my yard that i still have to cut I cut it two weeks ago i hate cutting grass it's not like on my top list of things to do but i made a creepy six foot tall graveyard lady. I've got to cover this back up. Hang on a second. <laughs> Let me cover this real quick. Where the robe came out from underneath the brick. I don't want that showing. All right, let's try that again. Look, she's six foot tall. She's just made out of a two by two, a one by two, some pool floats. For her creepy hands, I just used wire hangers, formed them together, wrapped uh, foil around it, and then masking tape. She will have to come inside when it rains. Mom says she doesn't want her in the house because she's creepy. A piece of nine yards black material that I got from Walmart for $4. This is just a one of them wig heads that's made out of styrofoam. Got that from Walmart for about $6. The flowers I had left over from Dollar Tree from last year, I never used them, the fake flowers. So I just made a little chain and put it around her head. Creepy cloth from the Dollar Tree. That was from last year or a couple years ago. And I just kind of painted the face gray. And then I put the a little bit of black on there and some red. That's all acrylics. You don't want to spray paint foam or it's going to make it all like pock up and look nasty. So you really want to use acrylic paint on any kind of foam projects that you're working on. But there she is. Like I said, she is six foot tall. <laughs> I love her. And this is going to be a whole graveyard going on around here when I get done with it. But anyway, so that's what I was working on. Let's head back to the house. See if our paint is dried yet. I'm not going to show you what I was going to do with the other stuff yet because today I just want to focus on this little bird feeder project. There's all my Halloween stuff that I pulled out and I got to start putting up. <laughs> Let the craziness begin. All right, so let me reposition my camera and let us press on here. 
Where do I want to put this? Let's put this right here. All right, so let's see if this stuff is dry yet. Now the bird feeder is not going to fit into the planter like this, so I am going to be turning it over because it will fit into here. A bit more aluminum on that. It'll be fine. Let's check our. That's dry enough for our purposes. Okay, so now we're going to reassemble this. Oh, please be dry. It's a little tacky, but it'll be all right. That on the bottom. Now you know what I want to do? I want to feed the bat in. Come here, little bat. I'm going to feed the bat in first. Because he takes some working to get in there. Oh, he's a little bit too big for this, but it'll be all right. We are going to... Put his little bones through, through there. Get in there, little bat bones. All right. All right, that's how we're going to roll him. He's actually going to go like this, like that. Turn his little head. Okay, so then. That will go down onto there. Actually, I want that to go up higher. Let's get him up here more. I need him to be a little higher. I think. Alright. So that's like that. Just like that. Then we're going to put the top on. Up. Spray paint the top real fast. Now spray paint it up. No, I better spray paint it now. Quick spray paint on the top. It'll be alright if it's a little tacky when I work with it. I can zap it. Alright, I just quickly did that. It'll be fine. Then his little feet are going to rest on the top of that. Right. That's the plan anyway. You just go down more. Okay. Let's get that back onto there. That onto there. All right. Then we put the rod back in. We tried to get it down into that bottom hole pretty good. It's got a nut on the bottom of it that is welded into place, so this should secure itself pretty good. <laughs> see. Keep on going. Might have to reposition him. Making me dizzy. Start making the bat dizzy. Alright, that's pretty good. Kind of pull him down a little bit more. Because I really want his feet resting on there to hold him in place good. There you go. Well, that's pretty cool. And um, probably what I'll do is I have, let me get into my stash over here. have these little stakes they got from the Dollar Tree last year and they have these chains on them. I don't know if it'll be sturdy enough to hold the cage. Probably not. I may end up getting an actual chain from Walmart tomorrow. But you get the gist of how to do this. And if you can find just any kind of a wire 
That'd have to be round. It could be an old bird cage or anything that you might find at a flea market. That would work too, just any kind of an old bird cage, whatever. But I just found this and it was $2 and I liked it being round. And there's that. If you want to hang it, do that. But like I said, I have this that I got for a book. And if all goes well, that can just rest right in there. Coolio, like that little Halloween prop real well. It was crooked when I got it. It's all right if it's crooked. So let's see if I can kind of bring this down a little bit and show you what we got. Dang, flies are out here just biting me up tonight. There. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. I love that so much. Turn around. Oh my God, that's a riot. That is so funny. <laughs> I, I might like put some uh, raffia or something down in the bottom of that or shredded newspapers or something. I'll probably go back and do that in a little bit. But there you have it. A great little quick Halloween thing to do. <laughs> I love this so much. But anyway, it's fun. It's cheap. It's a little on the creepy side, but you know, I like it. So we'll uh, come join me again on my next project when I am probably going to be doing something with the little witch's broom flying into my Halloween tree that will go up by my front door on the porch and figure out what I'm going to do with this big old piece of uh, a wrought iron. I'll come up with something creepy to do with it. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, it's good to be back and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.